Hi, welcome back to Salbion Radio. Today we've got another new radio. Oh, what's just arrived? Oh. As you can see, this is the Icon RD31E+, which is just a UHF digital radio. Never been opened before, or not by me anyway, it's just a rat. So first of all, antenna on top. All your leaflets. The uh, belt clip and a little handle the uh, radio the uh, back set And that'll be the charger. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think that'll just be. Yep, that's it. So that was a very quick unboxing of the ICOM ID 31E. Right, now we've got the radio all set up, we need to program it. So you need to go to ICOM. First of all, when you go to ICOM, look for firmware update software downloads. And then go down here and find the ID31AE Plus and download that. I've already done this. Once you've downloaded that, while you're here, download the repeater list for the UK which then put the file then when you get that on your desktop. So once you've done all that, once you've downloaded those two things, you can come out here. So once you've done that, open the program up. Right, so, so we're opening the program up, and once you've opened it up, you'll get this here I'll put it on a full screen oh and before we start don't forget you must be registered uh, with a local repeater group D star group I'm registered with ICOM UK but you must be registered or the system will just lock you out I, you won't be able to transmit or receive so you must register your call sign quite a simple thing to do uh, plenty of details on online to show you how to do that. Anyway, once you get this program up and running, I'm just going to show you now how to rig it up so you can use a Pi Star. Use it on Pi Star. So what you do once you get the program up, you go to File and then you type to Open and that'll come up there. It was on the wrong. I put it on the desktop. So what we do, we go down here and you'll find a file which you've downloaded once it's downloaded I'll say put it on your desktop because you can find it easily so you click on that and then you just say OK open and then that will load you your repeaters so you've got a, you'll have a repeater list now which is here look right so to get started first of all what you need to do you need to yeah, and click on digital Click on my station and then put call sign. So we fill that in. Then say the D H. And then I'm going to put my name. And if you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. You can put a message, which if you do, you can just click on message and then just put, I'm going to put Dave from Yorkshire. You can tell 
and I use one <laughs> use one finger <laughs> on the keyboard. <coughs> now when you've done that, you can shut that off and then go to repeater list and then where it says group name click on that and as you can see they're all filled up now because you've got your repeaters in now so what you do on the first available empty one you click on it and I'm going to name it pie star pie star and as you can see it's on number 26 so what we do once I highlight 26 though it's changed that to pie star and then you click on it and this page comes up and what you do here you put dv repeater I'm going to name it again pie star pie star and I'm going to also put sub name hotspot Call spot and then here where it says call sign you put your call sign then you click your space bar twice then on the eighth character you put B then you go to gateway call sign and click on that and that should fill out automatically which it does but if it doesn't just put your call sign again and on the eighth character put G then you put your operating frequency that's your operating frequency and I've done that wrong it should be 438.3 like that, I don't know what I was thinking of there and then make sure you have a minus dub and then where it says offset frequency alter that just to zero what we need to do bat, bat, bat. make sure that's all zeros nothing else in there but zeros I don't know why it needs to be that but it won't work apparently unless it is all zeros DV um, as far as I know you don't alter anything else so once you've done that you can shut that off and then you repeat a it's all there look if we click on that again look it's there pie start all filled in all ready to go so that's once you've done all that as I say you can go into your memories and put some channels in if you want I don't think it'll be out in here no not here but you can put frequencies and stuff in there what you want uh, and all that I'm not going to do any of this because we've got the repeater list in As I say that's all done and then what you do then you write that to the radio and uh, once you've done that you'll be able to then use that with your pie start right I've now programmed the radio up and I've just switched it on and now we can have a look at this now okay. yeah we press that now the bottom one has all your repeaters in I'm using my Pi Star one, but if you want to change repeaters, you just turn that lock. I'm not very good at this. You turn the top one, sorry, look, and that changes repeaters. But we want our Pi Star one. I'm just doing this with one hand, so you must excuse me. And then it's saying use reflector at the moment, but so you should always have it as use this selector CQ, CQ, CQ. Uh, if you want to link to a reflector, we'll just t turn this down. That's just giving me call sign from the radio in the house. So if you want to, you'll step skills, you want to link to a reflector now. We select that, then we press link reflector, link to reflector. I'll do it to one so we select one so there it says link to reflector area one so we just press that once link two oh e f zero zero one charlie and then you must make sure you turn it back so it says use reflector 
CQ, CQ, CQ. And this is working on my Pi Star from the house. I don't get my volumes down, so what? There's nobody talking at the moment. M zero K S P G one O X B. So we're going to link to another selector. So K B nine K W. Oh, there is somebody talking now. K B nine M K W. On another little Andy thing, let me just see if I can show you this here. Uh, oh yeah, right. Uh, let me go. Right, so if you select where it says Pi Star, and then press that, then it says near repeater. So first near repeater. I'm going to have a look see what's the nearest repeater TV. And because we've got GPS, it shows all the near repeaters up. And it tells you how far away they are up. 28 kilometres. So we can select any of these, look. They get further away, look. But if I want to select one of these, you just click it. But I'm not going to do that because we're on the using my Pi Star at the moment. Right, we're going to link to another reflector. Let me show you. I'm doing this one handed, so you must excuse me. Reflector, link to reflector. So you select the reflector, click your microphone once. Linking to R E F zero zero six Charlie. And then make sure you always go back to use reflector. Uh, CQ CQ CQ. I like that lot. MCVND, MCVDH. Link to RES006 Charlie. MCVND, MCVDH. MCVND, Now then, are you receiving me okay, Yogi? Yes, I'm receiving you all right, yes, no problem at all. What way do you want now then? Yeah, I'm just giving a little demonstration from the garden on the ICOM ID31. Uh, just for our YouTube uh, followers uh, from MCVDH. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you're working all right. Yeah, no problem. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, if it focuses, we're using super low power. Uh, SLO, super low, very little power. You don't need a lot of power. Uh, for Pi Star, but we'll go into Pi Star in more detail on a later video. Okay, that's the ICOM ID 31 uh, operating via my Pi Star. Catch you again. What do you say, Anton? MCVND, MCVDH. Not a lot. Okay, catch you soon.